cashier. Yep, one, two, three, four. Okay. Nice section of the map here. This will help us out greatly. Got ourselves another note, which reads, Ron, really wish the powers that we could issue I wish those powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen and paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving messages on the main office, at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm... A quarter of the way through a bottle of Fifi's instead. Miss you, Dave. Interesting. Now we're gonna go ahead and just unceremoniously drop that again. Hey, toilet paper. I'm going to apparently. Well, I can examine it. That's oh, wow, it's like it's toilet paper. Wow, it's fluffy and everything. Okay. I'm gonna drop that because I can't put it back in the damn box. That's so stupid. Um. So we got a book here. Looks like a Tom Clancy novel. It's by Richard Surgeon again. And go ahead and read that if you like. I know I'm totally littering, but like I said, it just will not go into the. Okay, we got more books. I'm not going to pick them all up. Um, Pinecone. Okay. Well, there's that. Let's see what our map looks like. Okay. Um, I just want to follow the river if we can. Oh, we can't. Kick, kick. There you go. Now no one can ever use that again. Um. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see, the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh god, I can't reply when I'm in the map. That's annoying. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Uh... Although it looks... Uh, oh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. What did I just see? My radio just did a thing. Oh, whoop. What are you... Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um... Well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. Hmm. Wonder why they stole it. There's an innuendo in there somewhere. I feel like I'm gonna... That's not the run button. I have to pull out the radio and talk to the Delilah button. And also the be monitored by mysterious guy with a red radio and clipboard button. I thought it said either Camp Asparagus or Camp Asshole or a combination of the two, which actually it is. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. 
Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I don't see how I'm getting across unless I jump from there. That seems to be what we're gonna be trying to do here, it looks like. Oh boy. Yep. Long drop down. Oh, here's the hoping you have good knees, Henry. Oh my god. Okay. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop offs, but here I am, stuck. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Totem pole. Okay, we can go this way, I think. Yep, here we go. Sorry about the frame rate. It's really bad. It's like 13. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weebelo or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weebelo do it. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Scarily looks like me, Mitch Michaels. Now I'm going to keep that. Don't know why, it might come in handy. I'm just gonna search each one of these shelters and make sure there's nothing uh, important in them. This looks a lot like nothing. Alright. Um, there's nothing there. There's a campfire I could report. There we go. Uh, well, I don't really need to stomp it out. There's like literally nothing there. Anyway, that was an option for some reason. Okay, anything in here? There's a tree. That's it. Okay. So let's see. How close are we right to the camp with the firefighters? Uh, we're actually in where we should be. So what am I not finding? Here we go. Bet you the axe is down here. D it's right there. There it is. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. That's okay. They left an axe. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Well, if this was going to become a horror game, I think we just started it. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to kill anyone with that. Got a memo here. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Let me read it first. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. Wow. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about... Studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. I saw it.
Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Okay, so this is getting weird. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, who would set up a research station to research two people out here? You know, like, it doesn't make much sense. Like, where's the funding coming from? Who would fund something like this? And what's the point? It's two people in the woods for a couple months. Like, that to me suggests that they must be... Are you there? I, I had a thought. I did, too, and I was, I was in the middle of it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Yeah. I got hit by him. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? That's the fire over there. Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Alright, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> what the? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door, don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. I literally just got a chill. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, the only thing I would think about if they were trying to research this, they must be throwing things at us. They would have to throw some kind of situation at us to see how we react. This isn't just a sit back and watch what we do on a normal day basis. This is literally... Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. They're going to do something. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You sound way too happy. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, what okay. the hell? By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Oh. She, this is code. I don't think she's this, uh... Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Decided to put that on. Okay, she's speaking in code, and I know where that tree is. Cottonwood, all right. Let's look at my map, just to make sure I'm right. Um, yep, back the way we came. Uh, yeah, back the way we were, by Fork Lake. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go there right now. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. 
So now I have this unnerved, unnerved feeling, unnerved feeling that I'm just being constantly followed by an unseen person. Um, you know, we're obviously being listened to already, so why not that? And my frame rate just dropped again because of this all this grass. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, they mu they this is a, if this is an experiment, they would have to be throwing things at us uh, intentionally to see how we react. This is not just a sit back and watch what we do on a regular everyday basis. Okay, I'm here. Yep, I'm here. Now what? She didn't really say what to do after that. And I can't like radio her right now apparently, so I don't have an option for that, but I'm just supposed to explore down here apparently, I guess. I don't know. See, we didn't need to do these caches before because we we're gonna come down here anyway, so well, we'll see what we find. It's very quiet down here, which is a little unnerving. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Already got uh, it. It must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. She was here. Why would, if she was this close, why didn't she just come to my tower? She's not that far of a walk to here, like, you know, and how is it 77 days we haven't actually, like, you know, met up? Especially since she was here. She could just stop by. I don't, I don't get why she didn't... Okay. Oh. Eh. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing- What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. You know more than that. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Don't worry, I will. I want to know just as badly as you do. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that Went missing a are few you, weeks back. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Lila. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. And I specifically said to her, let's tell people that these girls are missing. Well, well not no, they already knew that. But that we had seen them. I, I do remember in the last video, or one of them, the last session, that 
I said, hey, we should really report this. Yes, we saw them, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know why she would go against what I asked her to do, unless she was just trying to help and, and cover it up, but that that's not going to help us here. Now we're going to be in big trouble, and we're going to be the number one suspects in this missing case, missing person case. Okay, we're back at the fence. Um, the entire way here, I was hearing noises like off in the woods and stuff. It was creeping me the hell out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pry this open now. <clears throat> now we're gonna get answers. 